A state memorial has been held in honour of the 25 lives lost in the New South Wales bushfires. The moving service gave the families of the fallen firefighters and community members an opportunity to say goodbye to their loved ones. Grieving families welcomed with a guard of honour. Six pairs of boots representing fallen firefighters. These brave young men have redefined heroism. Their sacrifice earns them and your families a cherished place in the hearts of all Australians for all time. Geoffrey Keaton, Andrew O'Dwyer, Samuel McPaul and American firefighters Ian Macbeth, Paul Hudson and Rick De Morgan. Children kissing the coffins of their fathers, proudly wearing their helmets. Mothers and fathers who should never have had to bury their children. Family members were called to light a candle and lay flowers at a shrine erected for their loved ones. 19 members of the public were killed when deadly fires tore through communities in the north and south of the state. Each one of them will serve as a reminder of the terrible events of this bushfire season. The Prime Minister paid his respects, reflecting on the widespread devastation experienced across New South Wales. To also reflect on a black summer that started in spring. A summer where the dark sky turned black and sunsets only singled another night of terror. Where the fire crashed on our beaches from the bush that surrounded them. The arena went dark as a minute's silence was observed, the candles burning bright. Today, we wrap our loving arms around all those who shielded us from the fire. We are here for you, as you have been for us. Hundreds of emergency services personnel and members of the public filled the arena to pay their respects to those who have lost their lives this bushfire season. This week will mark 200 significant bushfire days since the start of the devastating season in August. Stella Todorovic, Sky News, Sydney.